Irish? Actually, some Irish told me, you know. Those three uh, gang uh, criminals, thieves, you know, run away from the police, remember? Who? Yeah, yeah. Remember the joke? Uh, the three thieves run away from the police and they saw the warehouse, so they run inside. And they saw three bags, you know, lying on the ground. So three of them all went inside the bag and tied it. So the police came inside and kicked the first bag. The French thieves said, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, excuse me, it's not the French, anybody, but in the joke it's like that. So the police, ah, they just pigs, okay? So he went to the second bag and they kicked it. The uh, English thief say, quack, 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 <laughs> inside the bag. So the police thought, ah, they're just nuts. So they kicked the third bag, the Irish man inside, inside said, potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> But you knew the jokes already, it was so funny. You didn't? Oh, are you kidding me? I told it's all over the world. But today it seems appropriate, eh? So if you want to stay, I advise you to hide yourself in the lemon trees or <laughs> olive trees. You know, those small, small ones, we don't have any big trees, so <laughs> small ones we do, eh? Uh, in the in the book called The Monkey Goes to the West, one of the Chinese uh, classics, yeah? Um, one of the Chinese six classics, including the Three Kingdoms, the Wearing Period, you know, things like that. Okay. Anyway, I think they translate it into English, but you don't have to read it. It's like that, the monkey, yeah? The monkey in that book um, symbolizes our mind, yeah? Okay. So the monkey is a disciple of Sri Zhuang. Xuan Chuang was the monk who went all the way from China to India in order to get the real Buddhist scriptures. Remember that? Yes, because at that time there's some uh, Buddhism that spread to China, but he wanted to know the real thing. He didn't want just the oral transmission, he wanted to go to India to see what more the Buddha had said, because no matter how many, at that time the, the transportation was not that convenient, so maybe he bring just even a book, just one book or two, you know, like the sample booklet. <laughs> For example, we're not the whole key of enlightenment, you know? So he went to, to India and all the way he encountered many miraculous things or many mysterious events, you know? He met demons, he met gods, he met magicians, he met, you know, all kinds of uh, uh, temptations and obstacles as well as help. So anyway, in one of the episodes, it's like this. The monkey, uh, uh, the monkey before he met Xuan Zhuang, yeah? That symbolized before he met the real master, okay? The master doesn't know much. It's the monkey who helps him all the way. Yeah, the monkey has magical power, the monkey has uh, strategy, the monkey has solutions to any problem, any obstacle. So it's the monkey who protects the master all the way from China to India. Yeah, so you understand very well now, right? It's the mind, okay? It's, he's helpful, but you got to befriend him. Anyway, before the monkey met the Xuan Zhuang, the monk, he had learned all kinds of magical tricks, yeah? He was supposed to learn until 120. That's a complete magical menu. <laughs> but then he didn't have enough. He didn't learn all of that. He learned only uh, 72 tricks. Yeah? And one of the tricks is to turn himself into anything he wants, including a tree. Yeah? <laughs> but when he reached that power to turn himself into a tree, he hadn't completely learned it yet. But he, he always wanted to show off. Before he met the master, yeah? he showed off with his, uh, because he was the smartest one. He was above all the other students from that school, of the magical school at that time. So the master taught him and he learned so fast. Yeah? Very quick. And then he learned to 73 or 72 or something. I forgot. I read it when I was a kid, you know, like seven, eight years old. Uh, forgive me if I forgot. Uh, but something like that. Okay, the number doesn't matter. He learned about two thirds of the way only, yeah? 
Okay, so uh, when he learns something, they compete with each other, the students, you know, who was the best. And other students, they have not learned how to make themselves into a tree yet, something like that. So he, he showed off, you know, he turned himself into a tree. But he hadn't completely learned, so the tail was still wagging behind the tree. <laughs> so the master came out <laughs> and saw it, you know, and saw that he was, the, you know, uh, kind of, uh, I would say, showing off his power which was forbidden in that school, yeah? You, you can learn, but you have to be discreet. You use it only in emergency, only when you really need it to save your life or to save other people, not to show up for fun, yeah? So because of that, the master kicked him out of that school. Therefore, he learned only two-thirds of the way. So if you have any of that magical power, I advise you, you could stay. <laughs> You understand? Make sure your tail is covered between the branches somewhere, at least <laughs> not behind there, or waking all the way. <laughs> so the story of the monkey tail. You read them? You read these stories? How many read? Right hand. Ah, mostly the Chinese, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Is, is it translated? I think it has been translated into English. Yeah, you read it? They made a television program. Oh, they did make a television program. Yeah, they made it in, in China. You can even buy it. Uh, maybe no subtitles. But you can learn Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> learn Chinese first. And then we can watch it. This is very important, the, the language, eh? Like yesterday, some... Uh, French people because they didn't translate well. It made it so different, yeah? That's why they ask uh, those questions. Wow, it's too hard. Do you want to go to the beach or something? <laughs> Is there a beach nearby? Huh? It's uh, five kilometers from here. Can you walk? You want to? What? Only if I go, you make an old woman walk five kilometers just for you to have fun. It's nice, but I thought it's nearby. You can go and dip into the sea, you know. Before long, you know, like a few years ago, I told you I had a, a small hotel, ten rooms with two apartments or so. That's like a twelve, fourteen. You could, you could say like. 16 rooms, yeah? And next to the beach, you know? Not here, not here. Uh, in, in Spain, but not here. 20 minutes in car. By car? Yeah, I know. Do we have enough cars? <laughs> <laughs> they all go by car? You all go by car? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they fly, baby. They fly. <laughs> <laughs> They're angels, you know? They fly. Yeah, they still don't believe that Jesus came already. Jesus came from the sky, you know, <laughs> always. <laughs> ah. Okay, now, since you're already awake and not digested, any questions? It's so hard to meditate, huh? Any questions? Ah. It's better than in India, you know? When I came back from India the last time, Maybe not last time, or the second or third time, I don't know. I didn't recognize myself even. <laughs> when I looked into the mirror, I said, Ha! Huh? <laughs> Who are you? What have you done with me? <laughs> I was so black, like one of our chocolate brother and sister here. Not like her, no. I'm, whoa, I was real African princess. <laughs> I was so black, so black. <laughs> that I couldn't even see myself in the mirror <laughs> because uh, I always slept outside, you know? There was a time when I slept outside a lot uh, because uh, mm, the so-called master ran around, yeah, with the disciples. And I was one of them. <laughs> and they uh, had all these small ashram, small houses, and everybody squeezed inside already, yeah? Especially the conflict. They don't like the sun too much, too hot, too hot, oh God. 
So I didn't have a place. Uh, I told you already, huh? I uh, dropped the… Uh, you know, the balcony is uh, it's kind of square like this, you know, right? In the corner, it's, it's like this. So I wrapped the… I wrapped my coat, yeah, my black overcoat, you know, the fleece coat, I wrapped it over that corner and I slept under that corner for six months long, day and night. I slept there too. It was overflowing inside, no room. And also when I went to see any uh, teacher in the Himalaya, so I also slept outside, uh, maybe on the veranda, yeah? Or maybe just under the tree somewhere. There was never enough place in our place also. And at that time I couldn't afford a tent, you know, it's heavy, I couldn't carry around. I carried just one pair of look like bunjab, you know, bunjab, like what you wear now, pyjama, right? a trousers and a, and a knee uh, tunic. That's it. And a couple of undergarments, and that's it. And it was so heavy already, you know, with a sleeping bag, you know. Yeah, if you go in the Him Himalayas, in the higher region, it's very damp, and the, and the, the dampness soaks into the, the sleeping bag. So it's getting heavier, heavier as you go higher, and somehow, like magic, <laughs> bad magic. And when you sleep with a sleeping bag, it doesn't feel that extraordinarily warm. <laughs> Even though I bought the one, you know, like army, it say sub-zero, but it only says sub-zero, it doesn't say house up. <laughs> in, in the Himalaya region, it could be very sub, you know, <laughs> like, uh, Sub uh, 30. It's like Canada, no? Like Canada or Sweden in winter. It's so high, that's why. And the snow never lep left the, the mountain. It's always kept on the peak. Yeah? Always. You always see snow everywhere. Yeah, but then a uh, lower level, it's melted, huh? And you see green. Yes, ma'am? See? Signorita. Signora. Isabel wants you to know that there are buses from here to the beach. So you will have to find out timetables, and if not, well, next time she said that she will write timetables of the buses that go to the beach. So how many buses? <laughs> I, I, you know, a regular line that goes to the beach. Yeah, I guess they go every half an hour, like every bus. Yeah, more or less, yeah. Yeah, or 20 minutes. But how many buses go every 20 minutes? <laughs> you see the numbers, huh? So we have to find out a oh, time Oh, please table. don't bother because we have to get all the buses. To, to, we have to get all the buses from the yeah, company know, to I run know. at the same time. I know, I know. <laughs> ah, never mind. I think they bath in their own sweat and that's also fine. It's also, <laughs> <laughs> it's also very salty. <laughs> What's the difference? Uh, salty water is salty water, right? <laughs> okay. Anyone? Any other questions? <laughs> Where's Brother Wang? Wang Sisong, Chema. He's still out shopping. <laughs> Just got money for me, and then he don't. I don't see him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> can't trust your own people. <laughs> My God, <laughs> how long does it take to go shopping, huh? He disappeared. I asked him from last night until now, I don't see him anywhere. <laughs> After he got the money, that's it. <laughs> Come find him. <laughs> uh, I just want to ask you if you have enough money already to buy, you know, vegetables just by the way, because we talk about the money. Any questions? Any other questions? Yes, can I ask a question? Where are you? Because the microphone is all over. Here. <laughs> ah, my wisdom eye cannot see you. You are there? Good. <laughs> Tell me. Can I ask about the meditation overnight? Um, yes, sure. Yeah. It's because I don't understand very well, and when you're talking to... Um, when you were talking a bit earlier, yeah. you were saying that you walk much better overnight uh, in the evenings. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. And um, and I I found the hungry tapes as well. Mm. You said you know that people should be awake and meditate. Yeah, and awake and meditate, especially when I was there. 
Oh. That was what I said. Yeah, and when you were here as well, yes? Yeah, of course. Yes. If you blah, 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 all over the place, how do you get anything? Huh? Yeah, no, what I was saying, so, is, is, is your power, is when really you were helping us, at, it is very strong during the night. No, every no, time. Every just, time. But you have to be strong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have to be receptive. Yeah. Huh? Okay. okay. Just at night, at least, uh, you're more quiet, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Just me personally, I do most things in the night because the whole world is more calm and they don't bother me too much. Yeah? Okay. okay. At daytime, I have other work to do. What I mean is, uh, nighttime is more for a lot of detail work, you know? Or maybe bureaucracy work, yeah? Paperwork, office work, creativity work, yeah? Mm -hmm. Uh, mostly I need more concentration, huh? Yeah. But in daytime I can do anything. Daytime for me is more like cleaning up and yeah. Like playing with dogs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and doing other jobs. But I also do other jobs in the daytime, you know? Painting and all that. Uh, it depends. What I mean is I can't tell you, I don't know, I can't explain it. In the morning it's not the uh, it's not very lively for me. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. Maybe I'm still hungover. <laughs> <laughs> I still have a hangover from meditation at night, you know? Yes, I understand. Yes, maybe yeah. like that. Sometimes I don't know who I am. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just joking. I'm just yeah. joking. Uh, because sometimes, uh, before, long ago, you know, when I was still running around the world, yeah? and talking nonsense. <laughs> Sometimes I meet these and that people and they like me. They didn't even know I'm the master or anything. They just like me and want to go out, you know, together. So they say, okay, I come tomorrow and get you about nine o'clock in the morning and we go out yachting. Yachting, you know, go on the boat. I say, nine o'clock? <laughs> I wouldn't even know my name at that time. <laughs> So for most people, this is already a very active time, you know? Yeah, for me, I could, but not that active. I'm not there. I can do things that like uh, in a dream or something. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, at night, I don't mean I'm better, but I'm more with the world. You understand me? Yes, I do. I, I'm more with you, yeah? yeah. Uh, or e afternoon already is better, yeah? Okay. Or around noon, then I, I begin to be acquainted with the surroundings more, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'll be more tuned in with you and with the, with, uh, with, with the environment and with the world, with the people. That's what I mean, I guess. I, I told you I don't have eloquence anymore. It's very difficult for me to explain just a simple thing like that. Now I got it. You got it? Yes, thank okay. you. Thank you. <laughs> in the old time, I would make it quicker, right? I answer quicker. Maybe I'm getting old. No. <laughs> Any more questions, love? No, thank you. All right, next one there, on your right. Hello, dear Master. Hi. Can uh, I have a little ask? If we, when we go home, because your home is far, can you come to look at us sometime to time, have a retreat like this? Come to where? Come to, come to look at us, like a retreat. Where are you? I mean, ah, when we go... When I when I went to heaven. When we went to heaven. Uh -huh. And we don't need to bottle the uh, police everything. <laughs> ah, okay, I don't know. We'll see if you need me or not. <laughs> yeah, we, we need you. I'll be there. I'll probably be everywhere, eh? Watching over you, huh? Uh, until you're gone, huh? <laughs> until you go back home, huh? Okay, I will not leave you alone, of course. Anywhere, not just on retreat. Thank you, Master. Ah, thank you. Just like that, huh? Yeah, we probably should have waited for the, you know, that piece of paper in order to come here. But it takes a long time, you know, two, three months. At that time, we've been in Thailand already. It's a different thing. And you don't have a chance to sit so near like this every day, yeah? And that's my house right there, yeah? 
Even if I don't come here, but you just uh, maybe turn over there to my day. It's the same. Okay? There, there, the same. Okay? Yeah. Uh, Sometimes I sit with you, I, I cannot bear it. Maybe your power is too strong. <laughs> You're really tough guys. You meditate so well, you even kick me out of here. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Do meditate, okay? It's not a joke. Huh? What did you do all the time at home? Run around worrying about dogs and cats, just like me. <laughs> I do have time for my dogs, but I do give time for meditation and for myself, so that I can take care of things, okay? I can shoulder the karma, yeah? All right? The physical body is not enough to shoulder karma, okay? Just when it's too much, it comes out in some form or another, you know? Otherwise, the body is not enough. This is, this, this is not it, you know, this is a small thing. Okay, now, is it okay to meditate? Oh, it's too terribly hot. You can bear it? Yes. Well, I admire you. Okay, let's meditate then. See how long I can bear your power. <laughs> oh, you want to ask some more questions? All right. Yes, brother. The brother of my sister. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, his connection. Hello, Master. We Hello. are from Croatia. And we you are from Croatia? Yes. Wow, very rare. And Hi. we would like to share some good information that we collect during the summer about the convenient places for the group meditation, for the events, some cheaper places and so on. The yes. question is, to whom should we send the information? Who will we check this and prepare for you? Oh, to whom? You just send to the foreign group? To foreign group. Uh, and say, Master, allow. Okay? Yes, 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 yes. So because now starts the convenient fly from London and Dublin to Pula. Pula is the airport on the south of Istrian Peninsula. Uh -huh. And this is 19 euro. And then plus maybe 30, 30 euro to other countries to coming to London. 30 euros? Yes. Oh. The all together is between 50 60 euros is the possibility. Oh, wonderful. I have And the place is no far 30 or 40 kilometers from the coast. Yes. It is a wood, it is a ri little river and so. Yeah, you yeah. have a place already? Yeah. How big? No, no, no. It is, uh, it is some possibilities. Ah. Someone. <laughs> you no, do but it, it, just like me. It ah. exists. One place exists. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, one group of ecologists. Yeah. Yeah. One group. Yes. They provide e ecology. Ah. Yeah, I understand. But how do we get it? No, we, we should talk. If if you agree, if someone agree, we should talk with the people there. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, but near is another place that is empty, but we can see how they look like. Ah. Oh, I can't deal with all that. Go and talk and negotiate. No, no, someone, someone should prepare for you. This is the question. Yeah, please do. <laughs> I, I can't do it anymore. Okay. I've been doing it too long and it's, it just doesn't work. Just because of me. <laughs> yes, so no, just, just is the purpose of us. Mm. Also, the other places on the some islands, in the coast, there also is. Yeah, is it easy access by auto? Uh, now it is, because there are motorways. Yeah, this, uh, I, I know that. I want it. I have, uh, I have seen Croatia, Croatia yeah. on the television, yeah. and it looked beautiful. Oh, it's so nice. But it just, is, is it okay with the authorities? They don't know us ever. <laughs> I'm so tired to start a new somewhere where people don't know us. It is okay because a lot of people from West Europe buy now the land. I know, I know, I know, I know. Yes. Very, very cheap. Yes. Very cheap. Not very cheap, but uh, convenient. Oh, cheap, cheap, <laughs> much cheaper than everywhere yes, else is, right yes, now. Yes, it is, it is, yeah. It's one of the cheapest land in yeah. Europe. Yeah, in the continent of Europe. Yeah. If, you well, if you can start uh, an association, uh, whatever name, <laughs> and you can get that piece of land, then uh, we will do it.
We send the information about Supreme Master Television to all the government offices. You did? Yes, yes. Did and they say the anything? Uh, it was the last week. Oh, okay, it that's was, good. But Maybe now we expect the results. Maybe it's possible. But the newspaper announced uh, uh -huh, Smith. Okay, okay. Hmm. So at least they are more familiar with it first. Ye yes, okay. it is. This is the main. I have to tell you the truth. I was thinking about y that. Yes. About Croatia because it's very near the sea and it's in the south and yeah. it's always yeah. nice weather. Yes. I suspect. Yeah. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, the Mediterranean. Yes. Kind of, you know. Actually, near, near. Yeah, similar Mediterranean. And it looked like the old Mediterranean city, you know, very ancient and romantic looking. And some, some, some buildings are right on the water. Yeah, you put your feet on it. <laughs> In the water. It's beautiful, though. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and it's not, uh, it's not far from everywhere. It's no, like the no, most middle, yeah, middle the of Europe. Connection is very good. Yeah, okay, maybe yeah. we can make something. How yes. about you start something? Hmm? <laughs> what? No, we, we should, we should, uh, Start very wise first, because to well, very wise, 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 yeah, like what? Uh, with, with the authority to ask. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Of and course then, you get then a permit. Yeah. Permit. Yes. You get a land, and then you get a permit for the association. Yeah. And then we can gather there. For example, uh, at the beginning of September, the major of Zagreb announced the asking the people from Zagreb. Uh, to make the program on the lake, one lake. And mm -hmm. the people propose the bath for dogs and the place for meditation. Ah. Yes, and in that case we suggest to uh, AMB Center for Meditation. Okay, now can you that, do that? That means uh, master building, or, uh, that is also the initiation of the major. But by the way, could you take care of all the bureaucracy. Okay, yes, yeah. yes, and then yes. I no. come anytime. No. I could even stay there. I don't yes. care. I don't care where I stay. You take care? Yeah, right? yeah. And yeah. we see. Thank you. Every country is possible, of course, no? But I like the sea. I like the coast, Mediterranean climate. So that we can do it anytime. You know, this this sea is more uh, clear. Yeah, and wherever yeah. you, whenever you come, you have the sun. Yeah. You don't have to wait until next summer. Yeah. And push your holiday all the way to summer and then come to see Master once a year because it's summer, you know? Yeah, I like a place where you can come, you meditate, but you relax. You can jump into the sea when you're hot like this, jump in there and then come back and sit. Yeah? Yeah, it's healthy and it makes you happy. The sun does make you happy. No? Yes. It doesn't? <laughs> <laughs> at, uh, last, uh, last year, at one place, we have a retreat with brothers and sisters from Slovenia and from Hungary. You did? Yes, yes. When? Uh, this is on the south part of uh, Istria. When? When? Uh, September. Uh, uh, se September this year? Uh, no, last year. Last year? Yeah, you did? Yeah. How many and people? This, uh, 20. Oh, four. Is no, that's a small. That's a small. Uh, Genji is just a bus tour, and people yeah. think, oh, they just came from the bus and tired, so sit there sleeping. <laughs> because we could not provide a big retreat, yeah. But not 200, 300, <laughs> 400 people, and not even 4,000 or 14,000 or blah blah. Huh? Anyway, up to date, the Thailand is about 15,000. Up to date, up to last month the registration, and I already have many regulations to cut a lot of people out, you know? The people who don't want to do anything, just come the last minute to, to get the power from your retreat. Those kind of people. Don't meditate at home. Come in and ask nonsense. Waste my time. It's just uh, and uh, agitate everybody, throw dirt on people. I don't like this kind. Either you're serious for business or you're not. I give them for for almost 20 years, I give people many chances, you know, already. That's not the beginning anymore. Okay, so we cut cut a lot. We just take the serious, yeah? Or the almost serious, you know? <laughs> you know, in the college, sometimes you, <laughs> you get the lowest point, but you pass the exam. Um, you know, do something. Um, Sounds maybe, nice. <laughs> yeah, maybe ask some brothers and sisters for Spain to help us. We should now to change the flights. Why Spain? 
Oh, you mean from here? From here. Ah, from they all go there? Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you go there? Huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> to help, <laughs> to help us now here, we should change the flight. Change the flight? Flights to back home. Yeah, yeah. You gotta yes, go and it, change it, the flight. It is some difficulties because the flights are full. Ah, okay. Then you go by bus. Yeah. <laughs> by car. No. Rent a car. No, go home. today come home. Tomorrow we should come home. Yeah, yeah. Then you should today go and book ticket. Change. But it is impossible because the flights are full. All flights are full. Well, then uh, use the olive tree. I told you. Yes. <laughs> okay. And the lemon tree. Thank you for it. Four trees. Idea. <laughs> that just been planted last week. <laughs> Trampling. Look at them. <laughs> They're so scared already, thinking of you going. Under them, <laughs> these are not too bad. He's a he's a tough guy, <laughs> but there are not many trees. So some of you have to use the lemon trees, you know, the new one, <laughs> the baby tree. Oh, I told you the Hungarian was good. We all sit inside. <laughs> huh? You have no tent, nothing. That's nothing, and you too. We're doing nothing. <laughs> The whole group is doing nothing. We are people. We are. Even I think you are weird. Huh? Why don't we just stay home and do your job? And, you know, enjoying your life. Coming here, sit all day, sweating like that. And at night, they even go to sleep. Oh yeah, what do we do? So you have to make sure. Your government knows whom they're dealing with. <laughs> this kind of people, yeah? The best. It's to take a picture when they're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> take the whole meditation hall when they are nodding. <laughs> and the sun shining outside, you know. <laughs> Show it to the government. This is the kind of people I'm inviting to our country. <laughs> Yeah, see what they say. Yeah, if they can tolerate it, we come right away. Yesterday already. It's still very difficult to explain to people what we're doing, huh? Not many people understand. They know meditation and all that, but they can't imagine it. such a whole big group of international people come here just to sit <laughs> all day, all night. <laughs> Going to uh, the most, one of the most famous tourist countries, and don't go sightseeing. Nothing. <laughs> Spend so much money on the airplane, or train, or driving 36 hours, what not? Come here just to sit. <laughs> who, who would understand you? Huh? Who? Ask your family members. They, even they don't understand you. How would, how would a stranger understand you? Huh? Yeah, really, our reality is like that. You know, it's not like I'm phobic or anything. It's just like that. In the common sense of the world, you, are not, you don't have any common sense. <laughs> and you're even happy and proud about it. Oh, God. I'm proud of, oh, of your craziness. Yeah, now you know. Now you know why we have trouble. Because mm. we're not like them, and anything not like them is not them. <laughs> and they think we are something. Yes. And they don't have time to take time to know us, you know? It takes them a long time to know people, you see? And how do they know you? Take a long time, yeah? We have to be friends first, and they know each of you, or some of you at least, and then they know we're okay. Well, at the first glance, oh, when, I, when I was in Taiwan a long time ago, yeah, uh, uh, often I took the, the monks and the nuns, you know, the residents, into a very far away uh, corner of Taiwan. Taiwan is very small, but as far as we could go, <laughs> I went into the mountains. We crossed many rivers, went into the mountains, and camped there. You know, sometimes for weeks, sometimes maybe a month. 
I forgot the duration, but a long time. And over there is nobody, huh? Nobody. It's a mountain. And uh, there were some mountain people, but they didn't bother us. They let us come and go. It's okay. And we'd come next to the river, yeah? And we drank from the river. We, we filter the, the water, yeah? As much as we could. And then we cook there, uh, gather the wood and cook with the fire, huh? And simple food, simple food. And camp there, you know. At that time, I told you I didn't uh, earn much money, so uh, three people or four people in one tent, you know. And sometimes the tall guy stuck the toes out, <laughs> and the, the rat came and nipped at him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not the problem. It is south, very nice and all that, but the mountain people, they are Aborigin Taiwanese, you know, they are the native before the Taiwanese came. <laughs> Even then, they are not curious people. They are the least curious people, but they are curious. <laughs> Can you imagine? You awaken the curiosity in them. They came and asked one of our awakened brother and sister. They are very tired, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, no, no, they are not tired. So why they are sleeping <laughs> in the daytime? Because each, each uh, resident found a rock, you know, and a tree or something, and just sat there. And you know how we sit, right? <laughs> <laughs> so these uh, mountain people must have been observing us for many days already. And as peaceful and, and very simple as he is, he couldn't bear to see such a sight, you know? It never happened in his whole life. Even his ancestors never told him such things. So he couldn't bear it, you know? He has to ask. Yeah. It was so funny. It sounds very romantic, huh? Yeah, we could do it again, but not with these people, not a lot of people. It would be too noisy. At that time, uh, we, we didn't uh, make any business yet, you know? So we just live in the tent. Uh, whatever we have, we have to eat. So. Sometimes we just uh, roast potatoes. Come inside, it's too hot, you might get a headache, right? Just come inside. Come inside. Where, where is the sun? You just come in, okay? Squeeze in a little bit. Or sit in the middle of the road, doesn't matter. It's okay. Come inside, it's too hot. Come, you might get a headache. If there is sun, you don't sit too long, okay? It's fine to sunbathe, but when you're not used to it, 20 minutes to move, yeah? Or you get burned later on, and it's very Uncomfortable, also you will have headache. Yeah, Kabish? Huh? Or you get a cold at night because the temperature is too much. Your body cannot bear. Yeah? Cannot adjust. Okay, well, where are we? Where are we? Oh. Okay, we roast potatoes and sweet yam sometimes. Yeah? And uh, oranges. Yeah. But even then, I, I went on lecture <laughs> in Taiwan, you know. Not as big as in London, but in a theater or something. And after that, we went to the river again. Yeah, and uh, roasted some yams on the fire. Nah? We gather the firewood from the river bank or in the forest, then we make a fire, and then we, we roast some yams and potatoes and orange and apples and sugar cane, whatever you can buy cheap. One of the listeners, uh, later he became a resident, and later he came out of the residency. <laughs> a this resident, this resident, <laughs> by himself. But he followed us, you know, to the riverside. And that was the New Year, New Year's Eve. That means that night was between the old year and the new year, nah? Just a few hours and it became New Year. And we didn't have, a, a, you know, traditional cakes or anything. We just roasted jam and potatoes and all that and ate them. And the guy uh, who followed us was sitting there and watching me all the time, waiting. I guess I told you already, but I'm not sure if you, you remember. Not waiting, waiting. Waiting. Later he told me, how come you don't talk anything about Buddhist teaching? You just sit there and roasting yams, <laughs> yam, potato. <laughs> it's New Year, he should have brought me some uh, Chinese uh, sticky rice cake or offer me something, nothing. Sit there okay. with us and then uh, criticize why I didn't talk about Buddhism at midnight. <laughs> After he already has a lecture and he benefited from it. He said, during the lecture, he used to have a cram on his hand because he's a farmer and had to uh, milk the goat and all that, you know, and he had very cold hands. That's one cram and painful a lot. 
And during the lecture, his pain was completely gone, immediately, and didn't come back. And even then, you know, he said he felt so comfortable and warm all over him, and warm on his hand, and the pain completely gone, disappeared, and never came back. Even that, he came to, to my abode, you know, <laughs> my tent, and watched me, uh, uh, you know, roast in some uh, potatoes to eat and criticize that I didn't talk about big deal stuff. Just sat there and ate. <laughs> Understand human nature? Of course, later he knew it. But can you imagine how many people uh, like that in the audience? Huh? And you ask about making miracles. Miracles happen all the time. It's still not enough for them. You see, a miracle is not enough to convince you. Even when the Master bless you, cure your sickness and all that, it's too obvious to you, and your brain still does not capish, and you still argue, argue, argue. Yeah? Why this? Why that? And you grab one or two sentences and then, you know, chop the hair into four, they call it splitting hair. It's no use. It's no use. You see how miracles don't work, huh? It's no use. Oh, why do I talk to you about all this? I don't remember why. <laughs> what is it? What was it that we started? Huh? Tell me. Simple living. One at a time. Da da da. Who? Oh. I was talking about what? Croatia. And then? Ah. Yes, and then? Huh? About neighbors. About Okay. Ah, that's why you come to the mountain people. Ah, who are not very curious and who didn't say anything, who didn't even report to police or anything. Even if they reported to police, I doubt it if the police would swim through three rivers and climb another <laughs> few mountains to come to see me. <laughs> They get all wet, you know. I get it wet. It's very difficult. Sometimes the current is very swift. Yeah? And we have to, one of the toughest guys, strongest and best swimmer, went across first, you know, with the, with the string, you know. In case he, he fell, we <laughs> fish him back. <laughs> and then we went always to the other side of the river and tied it on the, the tree, this big tree. And we tie another end on this tree, on this bank, and then we went with the with the string, yeah. Because we had a backpack and you know pen, food, all kind of stuff. And they even brought in small cameras to record all this stuff. Yeah, you've seen some. Have you seen some of the old movies? We were in the mountain. Yeah, they did do stuff at that time. Yeah, because we were talking about how weird we are. You know? <laughs> And I said, even the mountain people, <laughs> they became curious, even though they were very simple. They are very friendly and very simple. They don't go and nose into your business, no. They go do their job around it because they plant vegetables on the mountain. And uh, for them, it's very simple. All they do is just they burn the grass or the weeds in uh, one piece of the land that belongs to them, and then they go with the sticks, yeah? Sticks. Uh, they, they dig the, the hole in the ground, with the ash ground, yeah, the ground that has been uh, burned, the grass, and they uh, get the stick to dig a small hole in the ground, and they drop the corn, yeah, the corn, and then they do it again, that, 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 like that. So their corn also growing, eh? but very small, about this size, <laughs> about this small, all kind of color, but very very sweet. But they don't have fertilizer or anything like us, eh? They just uh, burn the ground and then they put the corn and they cover it with their, their feet. It's very convenient and practical. Sack, corn, like that. And then they walk, walk, so, so. <laughs> you see? It's very simple and they live a very simple life. So they're not, uh, you know, so complicated like the people on the plane. Yeah? In the plane? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Still, on the plane or? Huh? The people who live down there, in the plane or on the plane? The, you know, the, the flatter area? How you call that? On the plane. 
On the plane. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, not in, huh? Okay. My English was bad. <laughs> I told you to get your kids to study English when they were younger. Yeah. Anyway, I'm always with the Chinese, and sometimes I don't remember English also. Very difficult sometimes. Uh, sometimes I forget the spelling. Yeah. And I, I, I ask somebody, is it spelled with the R at the end or without R? And she said, with the R. Okay. I look at the word again. And then I feel so strange. Why, why, <laughs> why is it like that? I don't identify the word with the meaning. But nevertheless, if the dictionary says so, it is so. Sometimes you're so far away from the word, from the language. Also, huh? It's so funny. Huh? Don't you sometimes that, that experience? I and mean, you see this and it's paper. Paper? What do you mean paper? Why paper? Paper. <laughs> paper. Hmm? You know, it doesn't register as something meaningful. This one looks like you. You see your sisters? You are? Really? She's your sister? No wonder. Sometimes I just see her along the day. She cut her hair. Yeah. Yeah, because I saw her outside sometime without you. And I thought, eh, she cut her hair, but I didn't want to ask. <laughs> okay, congratulations. At last you came. <sighs> my God, it's so hot. All right, no more question, huh? Oh my God, yes. How can you take it out? The mud. Ah, the mud. Meditate, meditate. Meditation and serving other people. Yeah, I know, I know. That's why you still have to meditate. <laughs> it's very difficult. Huh? Yeah, I know that. Slow. I know, otherwise they would have killed you already <laughs> and made you die and then you're free. Huh? Yeah. But you still have to be here, okay? Only in the water can you swim. Hmm? Can you learn to swim perfectly? Yeah? You can do a little bit uh, on the, the land just to practice, but only in the water, that's where you should learn swimming. But we have to, to live, uh, have a different life or, or change the life or...? You can't. No. It's your fixed karma. If you have to be there, you have to be there. If you have to have children, you have to have children. Not even the master can avoid it. Just remember yourself, that's all. That's all we can do. Yeah? In the prison, somebody can be a little bit more free, somebody else is less free, somebody is assigned to a more comfortable job or more favorite job, somebody is assigned to clean the toilet of the prison, but we all have to do it. This or that. Yeah? yeah. I do a lot for you guys also, with you guys already. So just, just try not to be distracted. Yeah? Whenever you are distracted by a good looking guy or gossiping interesting gossiping story, you just cut it quick, as quick as possible. Yeah? As quick as you remember, you stop it. Just drop it right there. In the middle of the gossip, blah blah, you know that guy and this guy, oh he's bad. Blah, blah, blah. Oh no, I, I'm going. Sorry. Okay? Just like now, you remember, I remember I took my medicine. I was just talking to you guys and nice and all that, but I remember my job. Ah! Sorry, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah? You have to take as good care of meditation as you take care of your body when you're sick. Okay? Like that. Nobody else can do it for you. Nobody else can take medicine for you. You have to do it. Hmm? I'm very sorry, it's sad. But it's good. Sometimes. Yeah. Only because like this we, we can we can get stronger. Many sisters and brothers complain that his wife, her husband, are uh, obstructing them from coming to see me, uh, from going to good meditation and all that. Uh, do not complain. Because of that, you're more determined. Truly, these sisters and brothers are more determined than many of you who have it easy. Ask them. You see, the sister yesterday, the Chinese sister, she even sit in one in for three hours. 
and uh, Sunday the whole day. Three hours every day. One in only, and the rest, of course, double. Yeah? <laughs> one, one, six hours. She's determined to get rid of all the, the distraction. And then, well, her husband used to uh, obstruct her and, you know, do all kinds of things to hinder her, but then the inner master told her that she should do that, 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 and she did. Three hours in, six hours guanguang every day, all night, don't sleep. <laughs> and Sunday, the whole day, whole night, right? And then her husband just could not bear, and then he went, got another wife. <laughs> She was so happy. <laughs> she called and congratulated me and I thanked the woman. Thanked the woman who took away her, her husband. <laughs> that was last night with the Vietnamese uh, group meditation. I'm not telling you to leave your husband or your wife, okay? It's not that. But what I mean is even obstacle could be a boost to your determination, yeah? To get what you want. Hey, baby, come inside, it's too hot. Or you sit uh, with the face not, not facing the sun, and now and again you look out to see if anything, if not, okay? I don't want you to get burned, because you are skin. You know why people? Very sensitive, hey? The, the Asian and the chocolate may be okay, but... <laughs> but don't put the real chocolate in the sun, huh? I got some chocolate. How much chocolate we have? A lot or a little? Oh, we talk a lot. Yes, next one, brother, sister, sister of my brother. Quería yeah. comentarle que aquí en Málaga, alrededor de 10 10 minutos, alrededor hay otro centro religioso en, como la Ciencia del Alma. She wants you know that near to the center there are like three center more, but like a Buddhist center. Yes, yes, I heard that. Sí. Meditation or whatever, you know, like uh, ashram, a three more ashram nearby, five minutes something? Yes. Yeah, so what, what is? La Ciencia del Alma, El Centro Budista, Hare Krishna, y, y, cual, y otro método similar, mm, del mismo linaje, pero. ¿Cómo se llama el maestro? De Kurin Singh. Ah, no, de Kurin Singh. Ajá. And there are another center with the same team. Okay, so? Hace año y no hay ningún problema. And you say that you want to know that there is any problem about that? No, no, there's no problem because they are legal. <laughs> they have permit. They've been there long already. No, just they want you know that. Sorry? Who wants to know? They have permit. Yes, yes. Yeah, they've been there long And ago. And this center has a permit to, too. This one has now? Yes. For the association? Yes. No, they told me they didn't have it. They just applied. They say that from the interior ministry. Now let me have a look. So I want to Where is the paper? Where is the paper? No, she said that here is preparing the, all the documents to be legal, but in Madrid it's ready. Uh, he, uh, my sister, he said that the paper we have to the association in Madrid is, is valid to all Spain. Really? Yes. Are you sure about that? Okay. Yes. Okay, then if, you, if somebody asks, you have to say, this is from Madrid. Sorry? Huh? So if you can say, this is from Madrid Center? Yes. It's possible? Yes. Yes, you say yes. Yeah, but this uh, the permit is for all Spain. Yeah, I know, but this land has not been converted into the use of the association. It's privately owned, right? That's the thing. Uh, yes. Yes. yes, it's yeah, private. Pro yes. yes. So we have to apply so that that land, this land, become like uh, to be used by the association. Then this is okay. Okay, one second. In Spanish, they talk a lot. <laughs> yeah.
she wants that you know that the government is happy that we create this kind of centers. The who? The government. They are? Yes. Which one? The local one? The or the, the Madrid? Malaga. Malaga, good. But do we have the yeah, paper? She's preparing the papers. Good, good. Because they know that this is good for all people. Understand, yeah. but did they prove that they are happy? <laughs> <laughs> okay? She's preparing. Yeah. Did she uh, give it to the government yet and waiting, or she is still preparing and not giving? Preparing. <laughs> they told me that they are applying. Yes. Applying and preparing yes. is different. Oh. Applying means the government already have no, it in their hand and we are waiting for the answer. Okay, one second. Preparing means you're doing it at home and waiting maybe next year I give it. <laughs> one person at a time. Tell it clearly. It's preparing. Yeah, I know. But it's almost ready to apply. Trust you guys. <laughs> Yeah, I run into a lot of trouble because I trust my disciples, disabled. Yeah, they tell me, they tell me, just a little bit. What's the difference? What's the difference? It's in my hand or in the government hand. What's the difference? It's all in the hands. <laughs> all hands are the same. We are all one. You tell that to the police, huh? <laughs> Master, excuse you me. preach it to the police. Yeah. I have a question. Uh, About that? No. Okay. No. I have a question. About meditation, I understood when I was initiated that the concentration in the light is here. Mm. But yesterday you told from inside and look out through here. But how I make my concentration first here and after that? Like like you are looking from in here outside. That's it. Okay. Ah, Just okay. like you're looking from these eyes. Okay. Suppose there is a um, magnifying glass. Okay. It's right here. Yes. You want to read something here, okay? Ah, okay? But you look from your eyes through that uh -huh. magnifying glass out. Uh -huh. You don't look from your here, or you. How can you bring your eyes to the magnifying glass? You can also do that. <laughs> okay. okay. But in this case, you can. Yeah. So it's like your eyes in here, and this the magnifying glass here. You look through. Okay. Capish? Okay. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter when you concentrate. Well, it's just automatic. And the sound is the same. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank. If you concentrate well, you just gone up. You don't even know where the magnifying glass is anymore. <laughs> you don't even look. It just appears automatically. Okay. Sometimes I'm worried because when I start to meditation, I lose my concentration and I don't know if I live. Yeah. I need to come back. Understand? To no, 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 no. Please don't come back. <laughs> <laughs> don't come back, you've gone up, don't go back again and start again, no. no. Uh, it's just to leave. Yeah, just go, enjoy. Yeah? Uh, so how can okay, I look, the pilot has to look at the runway when he's driving, still on the ground. But when he already took off, please don't come back to the runway and look again. Am I, <laughs> am I on the right way or not? Will you do that? No. You just take off and fly, okay? Once you feel that you're already out, yeah? You feel comfortable, uh, beautiful, or you're out of the body, you can even see your body, or you see the star, the moon, or don't, please, don't come back to here. This is the portal for you to go out. Understand me? The door. Open it, and then go out. Don't come back and say, did I open the right door? <laughs> am, I, am, I, am I at the right door now? You know what I mean? Don't come back and do that. Uh, but when you go out sometimes, it's difficult for me to know the difference between when I was dreaming or I was in meditation, because with both of them, I feel so peaceful. Yes, then it's okay. No need to stay there and argue, is it a dream or not a dream. No one. Don't argue, just enjoy. And I the next stage will come higher, okay? Thank you, much. Just enjoy. If you already feel peaceful and, and, and light or very, very comfortable. That means you're in Samadhi already, no matter where, okay? And just stay there and then you will go higher, or maybe not, but just stay there, okay? Don't try to go back to the door again and open again. See, it's, it's say, yeah, yeah, number 15, that's the right door, okay? I stay here. <laughs> I stay here. 
Kapish, huh? Yes. Yeah, very difficult, eh? My God, such a simple thing, you don't understand. How do you understand anything else? Hmm. The five names are just to protect you during the journey. Understand? Protect you during the journey. Uh, when you feel very threatened or something, yeah? When you feel afraid or something, the five names help you, yeah? If you, if you are in Samadhi, sometimes comfortable, you don't have to repeat the five names all the time. You can repeat it every five minutes, every ten minutes, okay? If you remember, all right? Or to see you. Huh? <laughs> or to see you. Because sometimes when I can't see anything, just. Mm. I, sometimes I feel afraid and I say, I don't know if I'm in the good, good way or not, mm -hmm. because I don't feel nothing, just mm -hmm. I remember your face and I put in my mind. Okay, also fine. Okay. Only when you need. Yeah, okay. otherwise just enjoy, enjoy the journey. Huh? Don't keep calling the guy all the time. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> keep calling the guy, you know? The guy put you out there to enjoy, so you keep calling him all the time, yeah? <laughs> That's oh dear. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yes. It's a couple, of, one or two spiritual jokes. What is it? Some jokes. Jokes? Spiritual jokes. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, it's bad. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't feel very funny. <laughs> yeah, of course I understand, but I don't, I don't feel it's funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, spiritual joke is hardly funny, ever. Most of the Buddha are very serious, that's the problem. Oh yeah, maybe this one's not too bad. Oh, this I know. <laughs> okay. I don't know if it's, you find it funny. There's only one, one or two. <laughs> the, the, the horse already laughing. <laughs> Okay, here is it. An aspiring yogi wanted to find a guru. He went to an ashram and his preceptor told him, You can stay here, but we have one important rule. All the students observe Muna, a vow of silence. You will be allowed to speak in twelve years. Okay. After practicing twelve years, this sounds similar, sounds familiar. After practicing for twelve long years, uh, yoga asanas and meditation and a lot of karma yoga, etc., the day came when the student could say his one thing or ask his one question. So he said, the bed is too hard. The bed, too hard for my back. Okay. All right, so he kept going for another twelve years of hard sadhana, I mean hard practice, yeah, hard meditation, and austere discipline. And after another twelve years, he got the opportunity to speak again, one sentence, one question. So he said, the food is not good. <laughs> it's self <so> familiar. <laughs> I have heard it somewhere <laughs> around here before. And then after another twelve years of hard work, and he finally got to speak again, here are his words after thirty-six years of practice. That's it, I quit. <laughs> So his guru said, good, good, because ever since you got here, all you did is just complaining, complaining. <laughs> Not too bad.
Hey guy, don't drink this. I don't, I don't like uh, outside. It's, it's for the fly only. Thing for anti fly. And one more, maybe you find it funny. <laughs> Four monks were meditating in a monastery, in a Zen monastery, you know that. All of a sudden, the prayer flag outside, you know, on the roof, started flapping. So the younger monk came out of his meditation and said, flag is flapping. A more experienced monk said, no, wind is flapping. And the third monk, who had been there for more than twenty years, said, no, mine is flapping. And the fourth monk, who was the eldest, said, very annoyed, you know, he said, mouths are flapping. <laughs> talk, talk, talk. Yeah, yeah. You understand, right? Yes. That's what they do sometimes. So who are you, the fourth or the fifth monk? Huh? This is a kind of level of practice, you see? The first monk, young, and said, flag is flapping. He was supposed to meditate, he shouldn't even see the flag. And then because the, the, the guy hear that, he shouldn't even hear. He said, the wind is flapping. And the third monk said, mine is flapping. He shouldn't even think, I shouldn't even bother about these two people talking. So the fourth monk, very annoyed, he said, mouths <laughs> are flapping, flap, flap, <laughs> flap. <laughs> All four of them are no good. <laughs> Uh, no correctos. Todo correcto, but no correcto. Yeah? Everyone is correct, but not correct. You see? He's all talking, thinking, watching, yeah? Hearing. Or hearing the outside, seeing the outside, yeah? Not in Samadhi. That's what it means. All four of them are no good. They don't say the fifth, because the fifth doesn't say anything. That's why they don't say it here. <laughs> so be the fifth monk. Yeah? The invisible monk, the no flapping monk. <laughs> it's not like you have to be in a monastery or follow me to be a monk. Do you understand me? That's why I don't wear monk's robe anymore, so that you know it, is, it doesn't hang in the robe or where you stay. Yeah? And we don't even have to stay in an ashram all together and dig in potatoes and uh, cleaning the flagpole together in order to prove that uh, we are in harmony. You understand? <laughs>